Welcome to the Daily Mill, Thursday the 14th of January 2021. We're going to start the day with a story here about a transfer rumour. Just a rumour, not much to go on, but it is uh, slim picking, so we're going to talk about it. This one is another midfielder. It seems we're being linked with uh, midfielders, central midfielders. And this, uh, what you can see on your screen, is from the news from Portsmouth, portsmouth.co.uk. They've got the website there and it says here ex Portsmouth man linked with Millwall only months after turning down Fratton Park permanent switch for Belgium Cameron McGeehan has been linked with a return to England after turning down Pompey during the summer there he is there's a picture of him what he looks like there according to Football Insider the, well that's the same website the title that said uh, Troy Barrett was going back to Spurs so well that's what I'm saying with rumours I don't know if you want to believe that uh, that's the same website that said Troy Barrett was getting recalled by Spurs. So you, if you want to believe that, you can believe that. But it's, like I said, slim picking. So we are going to talk about it. Because what else are you going to do on a Thursday day when you've got uh, a video to make? We're going to talk about these silly little rumours that are coming out. So here we go. Uh, McGeehan joined the Blues from Barnsley on loan during last season's trans January transfer window. He was a regular under Kenny Jackett scoring twice in 17 appearances. Despite his crucial miss in Pompey's playoff semi-final shootout against Oxford, the Blues were keen to sign McGeehan on a permanent basis. And although the ex-Luton man also expressed his interest, he instead opted to join KV Oostend, which is in the B Belgium uh, Premier League. Uh, McGeehan penned a three-year deal with the Belgian top flight outfit and has netted three times in 17 games as his side sit eighth in the table. But the former Norwich man could already be on his way back to England with Millwall reportedly keen. Pompey have made a centre midfielder priority during a month's uh, January transfer window to provide cover for Andy Gammon and Tom Naylor. I don't care about that. I'm only interested in the, the Millwall angle. So apparently we're looking at this guy. He was at Portsmouth last season. Who else was at Portsmouth last season? Uh, ben Thompson. So I would imagine Ben Thompson knows this guy. Um, also at Portsmouth, uh, Kenny Jackett, former Mill manager. Don't know if he hasn't carried on any connections with the club, but he obviously knows this guy. Um, and who is this guy? Well, here we go. This is from the Sun. A bit of a, a bit more salacious. This stuff here, a bit more salacious. I'm gonna get into it. It says uh, made in Chelsea. Ex Chelsea wonder kid Cameron McGeehan bought for 80k. When he was age 10, plays in Belgium and is dating MIC star Tiffany Watson. MIC is a uh, made in Chelsea for all of you who don't know, which was me until about 10 seconds ago. And there you go. And this is his uh, picture of his bird there. You can see if you're not familiar with the show. Um, seems to be doing all right for himself for a, a average uh, footballer. Um, Let's have a look. Let's have a read of the story here. So it says Cameron McGeehan thought his Chelsea glory days were over after being released by the Blues aged 16 until he scored off the field in West London. Signed from Neighbours Fulham for an eye water in 80 from, from uh, uh, I think that's supposed to say from, yeah, signed from Neighbours uh, Fulham for an eye water in £80,000 aged just 10. The midfielder 25 rubbed shoulders with Prem stars Nathan Aki and Ruben Loftus Cheek. While benefiting first hand from Roman Abramovich's millions. Uh, scroll down, scroll down. That's him there when he's a kid with John Terry. Um, that's a bit worrying. I don't know what John Terry's up to there. Uh, let's not get into that. Well, there's a picture of his uh, girlfriend. Uh, uh, yeah, keep, keep scrolling, keep scrolling. If you want to look at that, you can go onto the sun.co.uk and uh, have a look for yourself. Uh, I'm not going to comment. Uh, now the former championship player who joined Belgium side KV Oosten from Barnsley in the summer has bagged himself a worldly by hooking up with Made in Chelsea star Tiffany Watson, 26, during lockdown. Kingston born McGeehan told, that's Kingston uh, upon Thames. He's, he's born in Kingston upon Thames, uh, even though he's got a, um Irish name then, McGeehan. He said, Kingston born McGeehan told Sunsport, I've watched the show a couple of times and it's quite funny seeing your girlfriend on TV. It's an interesting career that she's got. Girls come up to her in the street and tell her how amazing she is, which is nice to see. I'm very lucky to have met her and it's going strong. By the ex-Northern Ireland under-21 international, 
who also qualifies for Scotland in the Republic of Ireland, dashed hopes he would appear alongside his new missus on the reality show. He added, I wouldn't go on, it's not something that is going to cross over into football. McGee and Mitzi threw a spanner in the works of his blossoming relationship by moving abroad after a loan spell at League One Portsmouth came to an end last season. However, after signing a three-year deal at Houston, McGee has the perfect romantic weekend on his doorstep courtesy of living in Bruges. But the ace will not be sampling any Belgian waffles or chocolate as he maintains his vegan diet of three years, something he has in common with uh, meat-free Tiff. Uh, so he's a vegan. Um, Jesus. There's another picture of him when he was a kid at Chelsea. Um... Yep, so he was at Barnsley as well. He's at Barnsley. I've been loaned out to a couple of clubs into Portsmouth. He was at Portsmouth last season. And he decided to go to Belgium. Even though this is his girlfriend. Who's in London. Um, there you go again. I'm going to keep scrolling. If you want to look. Look, for, look, look in your own time. Not on my video. Thank you. Do not pause it and look. Please. Uh, there he is again, there he is again, not a lot of words, quite a few pictures. It says, McGeehan said, I'm having to avoid it. The idea of eating meat now makes me feel a little bit sick. I feel a lot lighter and have a lot more energy for football. I'm the only one in the team who is vegan, but because all the other food is mass produced, a few of the lads try and nick my meals at the club as they put a bit more care and attention to them. Tiff's a proper vegan advocate and she's helped me if I'm ever slipping. There's plenty of vegan cafes in Bruges. As a youngster, McGeehan modelled his game on the midfield runs of hero Chelsea boss Frank Lampard, and he aims to return to England to compete at the highest level possible after proving himself against the top sides in the most scouted league, including Vincent Company's Anderlecht and Champions League qualifiers Club Bruges. He's now enjoying something that no Premier League player currently can, running out in front of fans in stadiums. Oh, so they got fans in Belgium, have they? Okay, what's this? Oh, there's a picture of him there if you want to pause that and have a look. Like I said, I'm going to keep scrolling. Do it in your own time. Thank you. Oh, yeah, he's at Norwich as well. Uh, here he's carrying on here. He said, he said we did the first three or four games with no crowd and then started doing 35% capacity. We played at a 20,000 seat stadium and there was six or 7,000 there. And it made a massive difference. I can't understand why that can't be done back in England and other countries as well. It's all done safely. Fans are segregated and they have to wear masks. McGeehan has scored two goals in his last two games and is keen to taste more success after a stunning 2013 FA Youth Cup victory with Norwich City. He captained the Canaries to a two-leg triumph over his old uh, side Chelsea in a final, converting the penalty in both games. He said, I was there when I was a kid and I went back and won. It was a bit of an up yours. Everyone's journey is different. I don't think I've reached the peak of my uh, club football career yet. I can't believe I can kick onto the next level. Uh, I believe I can kick onto the next level. You never know where you could be playing in a few years. There he is with uh, David Beckham. There he is for uh, under 21s Northern Ireland. Um, there he is in uh, playing against Chelsea. He's the one on the floor. So there you go. So that's uh, Cameron McGeehan. So it seems that I don't know if his girlfriend's living in with him in Bruges or if she's in London, but he wants to come back to London. So that might seem why we're in for a shout. And he also wants to play at the highest level now. Don't think he's um, Premier League quality, so he's, but he definitely seems to be Championship quality. So if he wants to come um, play in London in the Championship, it's got to be us or QPR, I think. Um, so I don't know. Um, and he's a vegan as well. Um, he's been doing it for three years, so. I hope he keeps up with his um, blood work and all that and he's getting his B12 shots and not just um, doing it haphazardly because he's a professional sportsman and he shouldn't be doing that, he should be doing it, he should be doing, doing it properly. So I hope he's doing that. Um, but that that's who Cameron McGeehan is, that's the, the player we've been linked with um, to play midfield. So someone who's played with uh, Ben Thompson. Someone who was at a Premier League club, come back, had had success in the FA Youth Cup. Um, I'm going to look now on this page. This is um, soccerbase.com. This is the player um, player page for Cameron McGeehan. 
and so he was at Chelsea as a kid um, got let go went to Norwich as a kid and then got loans to Luton then loaned to Cambridge loaned back to Luton signed for Luton on a free uh, got signed for Barnsley for a fee which isn't announced here but it might, you might be able to find out and then got loaned back so that was at a higher level and he's got loaned back down to Scunthorpe and Portsmouth and then uh, it says there that Houston is technically, I think it's technically a loan but like they said it's signed a three year deal so I think it might have been one year loan two year uh, permanent deal, I'm not sure but it seems he wants to get out of that either at his own behest or his girlfriend's because he doesn't want to be in Belgium anymore maybe he wants to be in back in West London, I don't know but you can see here what he's been doing in East End. Started eight games, nine sub, scored three goals. Now he's playing in midfield, so that's not that. That's not too bad for a midfielder there. He's a decent age, 25 years old. Um, he's going to be 26 in April, so I think this is probably the last, probably the last chance alone for the uh, young Cameron McGeehan, um, if he wants to make a a good go of it. Um, he's, he's played for under 21 Northern Ireland. Um, so he is a West Londoner, born in Kingston upon Thames. Um, I was going through this early. He's played in, I think, two playoff uh, finals. So, player who's had some success, you know, FA Youth Cup victory, um, playoff semi-finals, playoff finals. Um, yeah, this is what he's done this season. So goal, a goal, goal, a few yellow cards. Goal against Anderlecht when we lost 2-1. Um, goal against Gonk. Goal against uh, Muscron. Another, um, yeah. So not doing too bad. And Houston, they're like uh, in the top top 10 of the league out there. Um, so that's who Cameron McGeehan is. If you wanted to know uh, who he is. Um, would I be disappointed if we signed in? No, I don't think I would be. Um, like he's got a pedigree. It's just um, focus. It seems though, I haven't actually seen him play. Just, just uh, looking through what the story and that. It seems he has got some pedigree. Does know what he's doing. Um, just have to wait to see how he actually conducts himself in a in a football game and um we'll see how it goes. I don't know how much we're gonna, if we have to pay for him or whether they uh, I don't know. But a bit of a touch for East End seeing as they signed him on a deal and he wants to come back to England already and then we've got we they signed him for free and we've probably soon presumably got to pay to get him out of that contract. Um don't know about that but uh anyway, let's move on. Last story of the day nearly there this is the Emirates FA Cup fourth round against Bristol City on the 23rd of January 2021 in just over a week's time this is uh, we've got some details uh, about the game now it will be on Lions uh, it will be on BT Sport Extra 6 on the television for which for those of you who subscribe just to see the Boreham Wood game and uh, have still got your subscription running to the end of January and you didn't cancel it you're in luck because you can get two games for that 25 quid that you paid you didn't get the Boreham Wood game in this game now um, it says here uh, Mills Emirates FA Cup fourth round title home to Bristol City will take place on Saturday the 23rd of January kick off at 3pm the title will be broadcast live on BT Sport Extra 6 the Lions and Robins have met once already in 2021 with Tom Bradshaw and Mason Bennett Finding the net in a 2-0 win for Gary outside Ashton Gate in mid-December. The winners of the tie will travel to either Sheffield United or Plymouth Argyle in round 5. And I didn't realise, I don't know if they changed the rules or the law or what's going on there. But it's a Saturday 3 o'clock. But it's still on TV. I'm assuming that's because of uh, the illness going around and all that on lockdowns and all that. But Saturday 3 o'clock and it's on TV. Here we go. Um, not too bad, not too shabby. Anyway, that's it today for the Millwall News. Thank you for watching and goodbye.